Hi everyone, it's Holland. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day. I know I am. We're back with another devotion with this book. Grace for today. One minute devotions. Join me, shall you? Today's devotion is peace in prayer. Peace in prayer. Right here. Peace in prayer. Let's begin. Did you get it? Here, let me get it up there so you could screenshot it and we could get started. Peace and prayer. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. There are many people whose lives are ruined by anxiety, worry, and fear. Fear, Paul says. Do not be anxious about anything. But everything in everything but but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving and present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter four verses six and seven especially in times of adversity there is absolutely nothing you can do in your own strength to solve your problems. Jesus said that without him, we can do nothing but take heart because he also said that in God, all things are possible. His affair, pray it with me. How wonderful, Lord, that I may come to you when I am sad and when I repent of my sins. Thank you for hearing my prayers. So that is our first devotion. I'm going to do another devotion because today is April 19th. So I'm going to do the prayer for April 19th. And it is, Wisdom Comes Through Prayer. Praise be the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He gives wisdom to the wise and, and knowledge to the discerning. Daniel chapter 2 verses 20 and 21. Prayer holds many great advantages for those who make it part of their daily routines. Wait patiently in the presence of God creates an opportunity to experience the Holy Spirit. It can transform times of senseless words into sources of strength and wisdom that restores balance to your life. God talks to you through prayer, whether you are plagued by doubt or confusion, or whether you are finding it difficult to make a decision. The person who prays will be enlightened and guided. Prayer confirms the existence of God in your heart and brings with it a new experience of life and wisdom. Here's a prayer. Pray it with me. Jesus, Savior, your burden is light and your yoke is easy. Help me to take up my cross daily and follow you. Amen. So those are our two devotions for today. Let's talk on them. Peace through prayer. When we have anxiety, worry, and fear, we, we need to cast those on God. We need to pray that God will help us get rid of our anxiety. Whenever I have anxiety and fear and worry, I cast those upon God in prayer, and He helps get rid of them. We can't do this on our own. We need God. That's right. We need God. This one. It says here, God talks to you through prayer. Whether you're plagued by doubt or confusion, or whether you are finding it difficult to make a decision, the person who prays will be enlightened and guided. Prayer confirms the existence of God in your heart and brings with it a new experience of life and wisdom. So remember this in every day. 
peace through prayer and a wisdom comes through prayer. Those are our devotions today. I did two, two devotions today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We will do another kindness devotion. So the book, 365 Days of Kindness, this afternoon when I get home from work. I'll put my devotions playlist in the description box below. Remember this in every day. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Blessings to you all. God bless you. Bye.